Bye and welcome to Betel Veranda. Something amazing is happening. It's to do with conservation, but it is called Coastline Community and Conservation. And it's a sea life we're looking at and the wastage we produce. Let's meet the artist. How would you describe now that your arts are out there? What's the feeling? And what's the message you're conveying? Well, obviously I'm thrilled that um, the exhibition has gone well and um, and, and the, the reaction to my work has been so positive. Um, and also um, that I've had the chance to use this platform to send a message of conservation uh, to everybody, that we should all be active in conserving nature. Um, and most specifically, um, that the installations went so extremely well. Um, and I'd like to thank the girls from Sahara Primary School and British School in Muscat for helping us to get this message out to people. And here you actually brought up today's mat, which is plastic and the theme and uh, the girls, the students, how did you collaborate? Well, really, um, I, we, we collected the materials together, but really they did the work. Um, they came up with the concept um, and um, they've produced something that is actually quite beautiful to look at, but really has an important message. And that is how the rubbish that is on the beaches now, today, is affecting our wildlife. And if you look closely, you can actually see um, how, for example, they matched up this, this, uh, this plastic with the yellow plastic that the fish is eating. So animals out there are dying for many reasons. And most of the reason is for what we are leaving behind. What we are leaving behind, yeah. That's a very good message to think about. How long did it take for you to complete uh, the whole project? The collection? Uh, the, the collection of paintings? Mm -hmm. The collection of paintings has been ongoing for many, many months. Okay. Um, some paintings come quickly, some of them, I, I would say, are not even finished now. So, you know, um, it has been, uh, I would say, almost a year since I began this project. It's done with four people and not more to come to a public place. We thought, let's think of a virtual exhibition that everybody can enjoy. And these days with all these apps and the, the technologies available, we thought let's try Oman's first virtual exhibition. We tried to get an app. As you can see, you just press the icons there. It takes you through and you can press there. You go into the room. You can look at the art itself. So that's your art of Barajissa. You can make it bigger. You know, just to kind of view it properly. Yes. On the information pad, you've got click here, where you can go and, and you know, bid or buy. Uh -huh. You see, so you go to the artist's website, and here's okay. the information about the, the, uh, the artist. Itself. 